Okay guys, today's video is a how to layer for the fall. Taking some of your favorite summer warmer weather pieces and transition them into the fall so you can have a little bit more fun with your wardrobe. I'm going to be talking about some key pieces that are very on trend, very on trend for the fall so you can get the work of layering as well as on trend pieces that you already have in your wardrobe but it can be easily found at a thrift store. You guys know me, I love a good bargain hunt. Um, we're talking, with starting um, YouTube and relaunching Full Style, I have come a lot across of interpretation of plus size women who think that less is more as far as being sexy and comfortable. I'm not saying you have to cover up from head to toe. It's just a balance between the two. They think that the less, the smaller the clothes is, the sexy it is and how it fits. And that's not true. You can be sexy and gorgeous and glamorous and still be covered up, have shapewear on and just look fabulous. Um, you don't have to be covered up head to toe. You can be covered up from all up to the neck and have your legs out and be sexy. Or you can have your breasts out and have your legs covering up. Um, I just want to show you guys how to properly style and wear things for the fall into the, from leaving the summer into the fall. So you're interested in seeing this how to, um, layer fall lookbook? Then stay tuned. I'm going to show you four key pieces. Four key pieces that's, are it, that's in my wardrobe and how I transition. I'm going to show you this full maxi dress, my favorite pair of denim shorts, as well as this beautiful blush shirt dress, and then my favorite denim chambray button-up dress with this beautiful lace crochet yoke along the back. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I styled and transitioned and incorporated these pieces into my far wardrobe, then stay tuned. So first here we have this beautiful floral dress. Um, you're getting two different trends in this dress. This fall you're getting a dark, um, dark background floral as well as the layering of maxi dresses into um, fall. I've seen this done multiple ways. I've been doing it the most simple way, wearing like a cami dress and having a white, a white scoop neck tee underneath. I've also seen it where people wear jeans underneath their maxi dresses as well as a sweater on top that's something i like to do later on into the fall and going into the winter so how i paired it is with this white tee that i got from thread up as well as this um leather accent trench coat that i got from thread up that is from simply b i threw on a black beanie and my black rain boots from target just to compare the look and i think it's just a fun effortless look you can wear it without the trench coat or with the trench coat depending on the weather you can wear it with sneakers or another form of booties if, if it's not rainy and you don't have rain boots um i just simply love this look the black floral is you still get that pop of fun fresh feminist but you get the dark floral so it's not overpowering and it doesn't scream spring so here we have um this tea dress this shirt blush shirt dress that i got from ross i absolutely love this sh the the color of this blush i think blush is a very pretty color for spring summer as well as fall i like the fact that it has three quarter sleeves that is something great to transition into the fall you can wear it with um a jacket or long sleeves and as you can see the dress is a bit too short for me um in my backside area so it's going to be the perfect layering piece so the first way i style this is with my favorite pair of denim shorts i love these shorts you guys have seen them multiple times i just threw on my denim shorts threw on a pair of sneakers um and I just um, grabbed my silver gray backpack that I featured in my favorites video, my fall favorites video from Jess Fab. And I just threw this on for a nice casual look. I think this is something you could wear to class. You could wear this on casual Fridays at work, depending on the kind of office, you know, the setting, the professional setting you work in. This is just something, a quick go. You could wear this on Saturdays if you're running errands. Um, I just love this look. And I, then I just paired that up with some stack chokers from um, Ashley Nail Tempton, Ashley Nail Tempton um, accessory line, and my favorite shades. Now, another way I paired this is the night out look. I threw on a pair of skinny jeans, and I threw on some 
boots and my leather jacket for a night out if it's a little bit more chilly at night. I love the contrast between the blush and the denim with the jeans. I think you can wear it because it's so short of me. I'm able to wear it like a long tunic. And then the leather jacket just gives it a much badass rocker look. And then the glittery boots from Just Fab just sets it off for that perfect night out look. I absolutely love styling this and pairing that together. I threw an old statement necklace from Deanna Cole just to set off that dress it up um, look. Alright, we are back to the third item that I'm going to be finishing with. This is the denim shorts. Um, I love these denim shorts. You guys seen this in the, have seen these in the numbers of videos as well as if you follow me on social media. I paired this with this oversized olive green Apaka, Apaka, Akari, I don't know how to say that, jacket. I got this jacket years ago at Goodwill. It was $10. I think it's from Women Within or um, Rumries. Um... And I just paired that over there. You got that little peak of my legs and everything else is covered up. I just love the fact that I'm warm and comfortable. When it, If it gets a little bit more chilly, you could pair it. You could put some tights underneath your shorts so you could cover your legs. Um, I threw on one of my favorite um, vintage retro button-up tops from Maggie Barnes that I found in my mom's closet. It has that blue, cream, and brownish orange color pattern that I've got going on with the beanie as well as my shorts. And I then, I guess again, again, I threw on my sneaker boots from Just Fab that are so warm, so comfortable. And then I set everything off with this crochet beanie that my mother made me and my wooden hoop earrings. And you just, that's just a cute casual look. Again, you can wear that to school. You can wear that running errands on Saturday. I absolutely love that look. You're covered up, you're warm, but you still have a little surprise peek boo with the legs. Next piece is this button-up top. This is a light chambray denim button-up crochet lace across the yoke in the back of the shirt. I absolutely love this. I paired this underneath a cable knit sweater that I got from the thrift store. I absolutely love this um, ivory off-white off cable knit sweater. Um, it's kind of large slouchy sleeves. It's very comfortable, kind of grandpa-ish. Um, I paired that with a pair of cropped uh, khaki riding leggings they're riding pants and i paired that with some of my um cognac booties um my steve Madden cognac booties and this beautiful brown black and tan bag from charm and charlie's another way to um pair a button up top this one is an actual denim button up top i found this in the men's section at savers with this olive green blazer i paired that with the denim on denim denim on denim is always in trend and I paired that uh, with my denim skinny jeans and these hidden wedge sneaker booties from Just Fab for a pop of color. I love the contrast with the denim on denim with the olive um, blazer and then the pop of color with these gray and kind of burnt orange sneakers. So cute. I paired that with this moonlit um, crescent necklace um, just to add a touch of feminist to it. I think it's the perfect appropriate look for work as well as probably a very casual interview um or meeting or presentation or you know if you just one of the people that like to dress up for school okay stylers that's it that was a really quick video i just wanted to talk you guys through some of my thought process with styling these looks for the fall i really like how everything come, came together it took me forever to get this video filmed because the weather was too hot to do a fall lookbook when it was like 89 degrees anywho guys i'm gonna let you guys go you guys be safe stay safe remember that i love you and most importantly love yourself fully until next time bye